Hey guys, this is Dion Ricardo with Victory Martial Arts Academy and FreeMMACoach.com. Hey listen you guys, I got a concept that I want to teach you guys today and I got two of my students here and one of my instructors uh, on the film crew with me. Um, but listen, this is really important and it took me a long time to learn this. The game on the ground is all about transitions. Now one of the biggest mistakes I see across the board and across the country is that what happens is that when you're on the ground, a lot of times you'll miss positions because you won't give them up quick enough. Okay, sometimes you have to lose the battle to win the war. So you'll give up a position to transition into a better, better position. Let me kind of show you what I mean by that, okay? Now if you notice, this is when we got Scott, okay? Scott is passing the guard. So let's say if Scott goes to pass the guard and he opens it up and he starts to bring a knee over. At this point, the right thing to do is mo is not so much fighting the pass as he is already looking to transition into the next position, just like this. Okay? Now let's come back, guys. I want to show you guys that one more time so you understand the concept. Then I'm going to show you the wrong way. See, as Scott's passing the guard, okay? For Mo to be smart, he's already looking to get this underhook, so he's got inside position. He's already looking to get his hips out and to the side, so that actually this man was passing, but this man's already busting, he's already 50% into his next move and already transitioning to the man's back. This is good, good groundwork, this kind of stuff. So it's in the transition. Now let me show you it wrong, okay? What happens, and you'll see in a lot of tournament film and stuff like that, is that this guy goes to pass the guard, he's passing, he's passing, he's passing, and now Mo figures out, hey, he's passed, I better get out of the cross side. Well guys, once he gets to this position, it's already really difficult to get out. I mean, this guy's 100% passed, and now you're trying to work an escape from zero to 100. Okay, do it, do it again, but do it the right way. Okay, now I want you to look at it in percentages. When he goes to pass the guard here, okay, he's maybe 25% passing the guard right here. So now he makes his escape to that pass, or his defense to that pass, at the 25% mark for him. So he's at 25% and now Mo is 100% out. You see the transition? So moral of the story, do not wait until somebody has totally passed your guard or transitioned into a position and then try to escape. As they're going to the position that they want, start to make your escape. Okay, I'm going to come back and I'll give you some more specific techniques on how to do this in our next installment. We'll see you guys later.